Hey, I'm reading from the, <laughs> the Tao, Te, Tao Te Ching. Uh, Latsu, Latsu wrote a book years and years ago called the Tao Te Ching. Well, I don't even know he wrote a book. He, it was a teaching. Um, and, uh, and, and I'm thinking, um, like I, when I first started this a week ago or so, I said, look, this is an experiment. I'm in here a little over my head. But I don't know. Maybe this is too much for you guys. Um, I mean, there is nothing to do but just take it in. I don't need you to agree with it or disagree with it. Just take it in. You know, it's very short. Each little chapter sometimes is only a paragraph or two or three paragraphs. Just take it in. Okay? So, um... If you don't understand it, that's fine. If it doesn't mean anything to you, that's fine. Just let it in. Don't try to understand it. It's it's really, you know, beyond most of us. So uh, imagine, though, that there's a possibility of, of going somewhere you've never been before. And, and maybe you don't like that. I don't know. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's 81... Uh, Little, little tiny chapters and it's just so spellbinding in a way if you just take the time to take it in so look at something new that's what this is about something new you guys you know what, what am i going to say you know it's i don't know i can't pitch it to you i can't sell it to you i can't tell you you need it you know because because we don't really need anything but here we go. <clears throat> Yesterday I read chapter 4. Now, chapter 5 is two paragraphs. Like, it's very deep. You know, and, and maybe it's beyond where you, you know, if you have the, of course it is beyond most of us, all of us. You, you know, it's, it's very um, concise and it's, it's very few words and it has a lot of depth in it. And, and of course it's beyond us. So know that. You know, if you, if you think it's crazy and you say, well, what the hell is he reading? But just imagine that it, there's something here. And uh, if you can go back and read and listen to the the four previous chapters or in YouTube. Um, I have a YouTube uh, channel. If, you know, if you're watching me on YouTube, go back and listen to them. And just really take a minute to let, let them in. And I also, with each one uh, in YouTube, especially I put, you know, I, I put the text in as well. So, all right. If it's too much, that's okay. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm doing it kind of for me as well because I, you know, I, mean, I, I get to do this and I, I get to feel it, you know. And it, I believe it's the kind of stuff that lifts our vibration. And, and as our vibration is lifted, our life becomes um, less chaotic. You know, it becomes, um, you know, more beautiful. And, and uh, but we can't measure it. That's the thing, you know. We've been measuring our life by our possessions. We've been measuring our life by our, you know, our events. We've been measuring our life by, you know, um, experiences. And this is much different. So I get it. it says the Tao doesn't take sides, and Tao is spelled T A O. Tao, Tao, Tao. It gives birth to both good and evil. The master doesn't take sides. She welcomes both saints and sinners. The Tao is like a bellows. It is empty yet infinitely capable. The more you use it, the more it produces. The more you talk of it, the less you understand. <laughs> I hear that. Hold on to the center. That's it. That's it. It's beautiful. You know, hold on to the center. The Tao is like a bellows. It is empty yet infinitely capable. The more you use it, the more it produces. The more you talk of it, the less you understand. Wow. So then the author, Stephen Mitchell, wrote in the back a little synopsis of each chapter. His, like, author's notes, if you will. So I'm going to read those as well. The author's notes in the back. The Tao doesn't take sides. It gives birth to both good and evil. Literally, he says, heaven and earth are impartial. They treat all things like straw dogs. 
as the master treats all people like straw dogs. Straw dogs <coughs> were ritual objects venerated before the ceremony, but afterwards abandoned and trampled underfoot. Venerated, so lifted up before the ceremony, but afterwards abandoned and trampled underfoot. The point here is not that the Tao is cruel to things, but that the master is ruthless, but that the master is ruthless with people, but they, but that they are impartial. Oh, I see. Let me try that again. The point here is not that the Tao is cruel to things, or, nor that the master is ruthless with people, but that they are impartial. Master sees all things arising from the same source, working out their karma, usually with great suffering, and returning to the source. And since people are in constant flux, she understands that at any moment they are capable of the most astonishing spiritual transformations. Why should she pin them motionless? Why should she pin them motionless with the judgment of good or bad? Whoa! I love it. No such thing as good or bad. We're never finished till we're finished. I love it. Hey, that's it. So simple. The Tao Te Ching. Stephen Mitchell. Hey, love it. Thanks, you guys. Uh, don't have much more to say. Uh, go to the YouTube channel and, and subscribe. I'd like that. So, I'm going to read this. Did a little video earlier today. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, creating in my little garden, inner city gardens. I think they're so cool. We should all have a garden. And uh, being putting my hands in the soil, I love getting playing in the dirt. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Thanks. Cheers.